hello everybody. Oh my goodness, my phone got real super crazy for a second. It's blowing up, it got popular. Phone don't ring all damn day, and then it's like, it's great though. Loved ones, family members. How's everybody? It's Monday. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I do want to talk about a few stories and also want to say some prayers for Toxic. Her her little baby is having allergy issues and they're in the hospital. So we sent our prayers to her. And Tracy's husband was exposed to COVID yesterday. So we keep her family and her husband in our prayers. So um, let me think trying to think of anything else i'm going to go ahead and jump into some of these topics so let's dive in um oh it is stacy briggy tracy hello 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 let's see let's hop in here i do want to talk about i, I want to spend a little bit of time on these first two cases we're going to talk about in, in their missing cases um let's see uh okay so here's one of them. Let's see. All right. Now this is a silver alert and I'm going to explain why, even though it's a young mother, Apex police, why is all this ads? Apex police and family seek help to find a missing single mom. 26 year old single mom of Apex has been reported missing after being last seen a week ago in Cary in Morrisville area, according to police. Emily Elizabeth Montgomery's parents have not been able to reach her since she was last seen Wednesday night at around 10.53 p.m. at her home in West Apex, according to North Carolina Police Department Public Safety. Let's see. North Carolina Center for Missing Persons issued a silver alert for her, describing her as a missing endangered woman believed to be suffering from dementia or some other cognitive impairment. Montgomery is described as five feet, one inch tall, white woman with slim build, medium length, brown hair and hazel eyes. Well, that just described half of the freaking world. Just saying. She listed on, she's listed on Facebook, uh, Facebook page that she's a social uh, media and front desk coordinator at the Carrie Hair Salon. The salon's manager told a news observer on Wednesday she hasn't worked since early November. And there she is. And I'm got to show another picture. It says, Emily, my daughter has been missing since November 25th. Please contact Apex PD if you have any information. Anyone with any information is asked to call Apex Police Department at 919-362-8661. Anonymous tips can be texted to tip411 using keyword Apex PD. So let me hop back over here to y'all and then I'm going to switch over um, to, let's see, let's remove this. And I'm just going to switch over to the actual, God, my screen looks awfully tiny right this second. Uh, let me see. Uh, hey, Stephanie, welcome. Hey, Char, welcome. I'm wondering why. I'm going to fix this and maybe it's just because I can't see it on my end, but I'm wondering why your name Char doesn't have the little emoji beside it, but maybe it just looks different. And we want to thank Char and Jason. They are new members. And if any of y'all join the membership and I don't say something immediately, it's because I'm not getting notified. There's Jason. Yeah. So yeah, yours is the same way. So in the com, okay. So it must just be how it looks on my end. And like I said, if anybody like joins and I don't respond immediately, it's totally because I'm not getting notified when I get new members unless I have, I just happened to see Jason's earlier. So if you do join and I don't say anything, it's because I don't fucking know. Anyway, so let's go ahead and look at this real quick. I don't know why I'm at. Okay, there it is. He said it was Sharon, but so, and this is the actual, um, the actual alert, I guess you would call it. All right. So right here, North Carolina silver alert announcement. Uh, North Carolina Center of Missing Persons issued a silver alert for missing endangered woman. Citizens are asked to be on the lookout for uh, Emily Elizabeth Montgomery, who is believed to be suffering from dementia or another cognitive impair impairment. Excuse me. I cannot speak correctly. 
125 pounds. This one says a uh, white female, hazel eyes, five foot one. Uh, doesn't have any distinguishing marks, anything like that. Um, contact information is Detective Burns, 919-362-8661. And, uh, well, I'm not going to read the exact address. So, and it doesn't say direction of travel. It just says last seen at, uh, on Lanasi, Lanasa, Lanasi Lane Apex. So this is the official announcement. Let me hop back over here to y'all. Let's see. Um, hey, Roberta. Welcome, Maureen. Uh, anybody else I missed? My damn. It's not wanting to stop sharing for some reason. Okay. Yes. How are you, Roberta? Maureen, how is everybody thinking? Of yes, yes. I know. I'm so excited. Y'all join Little Beeps game. Um, let's see. Oops. I don't know what I did right there. So let's look at this. Up and, uh, let's see what I want to do. I thought I had another one pulled up. Hold on one second, y'all. I must have exited out of it. I don't know what the hell that's about. Let's see. Cancel that. Let's see. Now, this other one I wanted to look into. His name is Trevor Boyd. And he is also missing. Wait a minute. There we go. I had it pulled up. I don't know why it exited out of it. I don't know. Let's see here. Give me one second, guys. Mm, here we go. Okay. And this young man is 28 years old. Let me see. I had the actual page pulled up. Let me see. Because he has an actual Facebook page, uh, Missing Trevor Boyd. Let's see. Uh, well, well, this is irritating. I hope. I mean, well, it would be great. You know, here it is. I was going to say, it'd be great if, like, they found him. And, um, no, but they have not. So let me hop back over here so I can, apparently there's two Facebook pages, but let me just share. All right. Trevor Boyd, 28 years old. Let's hop in over here. There we go. All right. So here's what he looks like. Miss, uh, let's see. Wearing a black zip hoodie. Levi Beanie in DC Shoes, um, December 16th, 2020. Let's see, $1,000 reward. Last seen, Fort Brigger, uh, Wyoming. Let me see. What well, says Trevor Boyd in the Vegas area? Huh. That's weird. Let's see. Let's look at this. Oh, I don't know. That might be drama. Let's get out of this one. I don't want to spread false stuff. I had an actual thing put up. I'm trying to find out where it's at to give context. Mm, let's just look at this one. Sorry. Here's a few contacts. CBS. Well, I'm sorry to hear the Trevor's missing. Fortunately, we are in Cheyenne and don't have resources in that part of the state. Well, this is irritating. Let me just do a Google search. I don't not exactly sure why it's not showing up like it was before. Let me see, Trevor Boyd. Because hopefully they've at least had a local news do something. Um, missing Wyoming. Let's see. There we go. Give me one half a second, and I'm gonna pull up this. There we go. All right, stop sharing. Now we're going to reshare. Hey, Lou. Hey, Cement. Anybody I missed? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. All right, now this is the actual news. Let's see. Here we go. All right. And of course, there's an ad. Let's see. Unit. Unita County officials are seeking information on a missing person. Um, let's see. 
the Evanston Police Department in Uinta, Uinta County Sheriff's Office are asking for the public's help finding Trevor Boyd, who has been missing since November 16th. According to a press release from Evanston Police Department on November 24th, the department took a report that on November 16th, Trevor, bleh, Trevor Boyd, 28, walked off his job site in Bridger Valley, located in uh, Unita County, Wyoming. Trevor's cell phone has been shut off since that time. As of November 29th, a paycheck he received from his employer on November 13th has not been cashed. Now, I thought that this was, I thought this was a little telling. He got the check on the 13th. He went missing on the 16th or was reported and the check is still not cashed. To me that, you know, that would, I don't know. To me that stood out. Trevor was entered into the NCIC missing persons on November 24th. Co-workers have spoken as what well, have been spoken with as well as family and friends and known associates by Evanston Police Department and Uinta. That's a weird little word, Uinta uh, County Sheriff's Office with no leads. Trevor has reportedly been known to be um, harmful to himself in the past. Can't say that word. Mm, the complainant advised Trevor was bipolar, schizophrenic, and does not have his medications with him. Boyd is currently on federal probation and expressed concerns over getting into trouble. God, I hate to hear that. I hate that. Like, I hate that. Like, if somebody has screwed, has made mistakes. I don't like the idea of things hanging over somebody's head forever. You know, unless it's unless it fits the crime. That's just me. I just sometimes think it's hard on people that try to turn their life around. Trevor was last seen wearing a black zip up coat, Levi's and a white, gray, red DC shoes and a black beanie. Trevor is described as a white male, slender, 28 years old, approximately five, seven in height. Trevor's also has tattoos on his chest and arms. Anyone with any information regarding Trevor's whereabouts are requested to contact Evanston Police Sergeant Sean Stahl at 307-783-6400 or 307-679-2063. Uh, good grief. Are these just more numbers? Okay. 7037-780-780. 7225. All right. So let me hop back here to y'all. We'll leave the picture up. All right. So both of these cases, they have medical. One of them's a silver alert. She may have dementia. He has some, um, I would say mental, mental, um, issues. I would say, I guess that's a safe way of saying it. Let's see. What are you guys saying? Hey, Lou, welcome back. I saw where your computer crashed. I don't know if I commented, but I did see where you had reached out. Uh, hopefully she will get a few more weeks on meds. Let's see. Cement. What's that? Um, it's so cool seeing my little members in the chat. That makes me so happy. Mm, let's see. It's definitely a red flag paycheck. Yeah. I thought the same thing. I absolutely thought the paycheck thing was, and I wonder if, I wonder if he had a female interest or, or if he had, you know, a partner, if he was seeing anybody, did he have kids? You know, I, I don't know a whole lot. Now I know this other one, she does, she is a single mom and she's missing, but she's got to, you know, I was, th when I read it too, I thought, my God, 26 years old and have dementia. That's, seems awful so have any of y'all seen the um netflix documentary uh daisy and aubrey have any of y'all seen that i've seen it i don't know if i've seen the ending but I'm, I'm very i'm familiar with the case and i did i watched a good bit of it i'm wanting to think i finished it but we have some pretty sad oh wrong button has some pretty sad news um this is a real sad family story. Like, it's just really sad. It's really sad. And it's a terrible ending to an already sad situation. So, I don't know if y'all saw, but the mother of Daisy, the girl in the documentary, 
um, she's uh, harmed herself and she did not survive it. So we're just going to take a little read. This is really sad. Heartbroken mom of Netflix documentary star Daisy Coleman takes her own life four months after her daughter killed herself on FaceTime call with her boyfriend. Let's see. The mother of Netflix documentary star Daisy Coleman ha has taken her life just four months after her daughter took her own life. Melinda Coleman, 58, died on Sunday evening following the death of her 23-year-old daughter, Daisy, who spoke candidly about her um, essay abuse at the age of 14 in the 2016 documentary, Daisy. Oh, my Google. Hopefully, it's not buffering for y'all. My laptop is it's buffering, so it might be buffering for y'all. Let's see. Daisy fatally shot herself in Colorado Springs while on a call with her boyfriend after she described in the Netflix documentary how she was, um, I don't, that R word that I can't say, at a house party by high school athlete Matthew Barnett while a boy filmed the assault. Are y'all familiar with this? It was pretty horrific. It's, it's an awful, awful story. And it shows a lot of dynamics about social media and how it can, you know, affect these young kids and just cyber bullying. And it's, it's got a lot of facets and it's a harsh reality of what goes on with our youth. Barnett, son of a Republican state politician, denied a uh, blanking Daisy and served four months in prison on misdemeanor charges. Shortly after Daisy's death, Melinda revealed how her daughter um, took her own life on learning she could, she, why, when she learned she could not have children and that it was likely she could not conceive because of the blank she suffered as a teenager. The, when she, when it, she, it was taken against her will. The Netflix show also fo uh, focused on the story of Aub Audrey Potts, who uh, blanked herself in 2012, eight days after she was SA assaulted at a house party by three teenagers and footage of the attack appeared online. Daisy described being piled, uh, plied with alcohol in 2012 and blanked at the house party hosted by a popular high school footballer in her Missouri hometown. No one was ever convicted of this crime. She was, she went on to found, to, uh, found safe Bay, a sexual, uh, blank prevention group that announced Melinda's death in, in their Instagram page where condolences quickly began, began to appear. The tragedy surrounding the Coleman family began years earlier when Daisy's father died in a car accident a few years before Daisy's assault. The family's home burned down in a fire in 2013. And in 2018, Melinda's son, Tristan Ash, died in a car accident at the age of 19 while he was helping his sister move to Colorado Springs. This family story is so is filled with so much tragedy. It, my heart broke while I was reading all this earlier, which I guess, I guess parts of it I knew, but I, I didn't just put it together in one story and it's awful. But this lady right here, Melinda, that's who took her life. And this is her daughter. And um, for whatever families left, we just say prayers for them. And, you know, mental illness is real. Um, these situations with these, look at this crazy tattoo. I thought to myself, uh, that's, I hope she didn't get into that kind of belief, but, um, it's just awful. It's just a really sad story. And, um, yeah, it's just sad. This is just an entire family of brokenness. Like it's just brokenness. And it's very sad, very sad. Okay, let's see. What are y'all talking about? Let's see here. Yeah, it is. A lot does happen in Colorado, it seems. It's crazy. JC, my dogs are skippy and bandit. Oh, my goodness. A Siamese cat named Prissy. I love that. Yeah, it's very heartbreaking. It's, it, God, God. This one family has more. It's just awful. It's very sad. It's very sad. Now, off from the sad to the completely freaking ridiculous. So, this story comes out of Tennessee, I think. I'm almost positive. 
Unfortunately, Tennessee's been in the headlines a lot for just stupid shit. Oh, yes, she was part of, She was in Tennessee. This was Tennessee. I knew it was. Mm. Who is Laureen MacArthur? Well, I'm going to tell you who she is. She's a piece of crap. Piece of poop. Poop. Pregnant Tennessee mom scalds her baby to death in the bathtub. Asked for funeral money online. I know she did. I know she did. Uh, Union uh, City, Tennessee. Now, I would say a lot of the stories that have been coming out recently is all up there close to the tip of Tennessee in the edge, close to where Evelyn Boswell was. Like it's all in that little, it's on that little tip part. I live in the middle. <laughs> I'm joking. The whole world's crazy, but I just was making a point here. I kid, I kid. Pregnant mother reportedly scalded her toddler to death in a hot bath before posting pictures and video of his funeral on social media, begging for money. Lauren MacArthur, 27, is accused of fatally injuring her 14-month-old son, Dominique, at their home, November 10th, in Union City. Police said in a Facebook post on Tuesday, December 2nd, the officers began investigating the case at the child, uh, after a child with severe burns was admitted to Arkansas Children's Hospital on November 10th. Arkansas? Well, hell, maybe that ain't nowhere where I'm thinking about. Um, the toddler died four days later in an Arkansas hospital burn unit. Yeah, because a lot of times if it's a burn, they will bring them to, they will bring them to, um, Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt's got a good burn, um, burn unit. It was determined by investigators that the little boy had been scalded by bathwater over 47% of his body. After MacArthur shared photos and videos at Dominique's funeral and issued a plea for cash on her Facebook account, she was arrested and charged with negligent homicide and child abuse on December 2nd. The suspect, who is tattooed across her chest, which reads, family over everything. I know it did. I know it did. I know, I know that's the tattoo that this bitch got. Mm. I, I didn't forget my damn place. I'm so mad. Posted a link in her cash app account the day after Dominique was admitted to the hospital. Hospital. If y'all want to send me money, if y'all want to send me some money, my cash app, I'm not reading that bullshit. Any little bit will help right now. FR, which means for real. I'm not putting nothing on Facebook about it as of right now. I know you're not because your Facebook accounts were being watched. Dominique's death was announced by her on November 4th, 14th, writing, We love you, baby boy. MacArthur also shared a link to her GoFundMe page, which was set up under the name China Smith. To pay Dominique's funeral and help ease the pain and burden for the family. No, you took care of your burden, bitch. That baby was your burden. And ain't nobody going to pay you for that. You, you need a life behind bars. That's what you need. Nothing more, nothing less. I mean, maybe an ass whipping. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. The description in the fundraiser re, uh, read as if it was set up by Dominique's cousin. This is Dominique. He is my cousin and he was in a tragic accident earlier this week. But today, November 14th, 2020, he passed away with his family by his side. Uh, his family, our family is in need of help to bury this sweet boy. As you can imagine, nobody was ever really or is prepared for something like this to happen. Unless you do it yourself and plan it. But I mean, I, I guess you didn't play that tape all the way through. Yeah. Do you know how hot water has to actually be to burn 47%? And let me say this too. When I take baths, I don't cut on cold water. We have very hot water I, because I like scalding hot baths. But so I'm thinking I take extremely hot ass baths. How bad did this bathtub had to be? <sighs> Mm. 
to them. So we are asking for anything that will help ease the pain and burden for the family and help them lay this sweet baby to rest. If you cannot donate, we ask for your prayers instead and thank each and every one of you who donates, shares, or says a prayers for our family. Only $140 has been raised of the fundraiser with the goal set of 5,000. MacArthur shared several photoshopped images of her late son as an angel and also uploaded videos of balloon release held in his honor before getting arrested. She paid numerous tributes to Dominique on Facebook writing uh, RIH, rest in heaven. She was also uploaded photos from the funeral, which included snaps of pallbearers carrying Dominique's white coffin to his grave. A video of the pastor conducting the service. Because nothing says enjoying a good life experience without live streaming it or putting it on a social media platform. Nothing. It's like you can't even live a real moment unless you document it. The circumstances surrounding Dominique's death have been kept under wraps by investigators. The incident took place two weeks after MacArthur announced on social media that she was pregnant with another child because we just don't have enough of these stories. MacArthur uh, remains in O'Brien County Jail ahead of next uh, her next court hearing. Oh my gosh, that's fucking irritating. That is super irritating. Mm -mm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, grief. What does that say? I don't know if you could watch a Netflix doc at the moment. I'm a bit too upset to, yeah. Oh yeah, I would, yeah, that document, that Daisy and Aubrey documentary is awful. Let's see, she's a demon for doing that. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. The water had to be pretty damn hot. I know, I take scalding and hot baths. I don't even cut on no cold water, nothing. I know, like I'm boiling the dirt off of my behind. Like I love hot baths. But, uh, oh God, and child abuse too. They didn't really elaborate on child abuse, but they, like he had, you know, I probably could dig a little more and find different stuff. Mm, yeah, she's a monster. Yeah, cash app requests on Facebook, all kind of shit. Uh, Charles Knight. Oh, that name sounds familiar. Cement, remind me, what case is that? I know that name though. I totally know that name. Charles Knight, I know that name. Mm, she needs to, yeah, she tarred and fed, yeah, I hope they never let her out, mm. yeah, pregnant again, it's good stuff, Ah, uh, thank you, oh, that'd be great, good, that's a great idea, Stephanie, thank you for the support, sweetheart, I so appreciate it, yeah, I know, it's awful, you would have had to have boiled the water for, you know what? That's what I was thinking. You you would absolutely have to tweak the hot water heater or physically boil the water. I mean, what do you? How do you listen to your child screaming in that manner? Is what I would like to know. How in the hell would you? Can you hear your child screaming like that? You're fine, Stephanie. You crochet away, honey. You are fine. You are fine. That's awful. I do have another one. I was just going to maybe do a separate video about it. Uh, she's having a baby girl dated October 28th. Oh, God. Well, the state will take it. The state will take that baby. I don't know what her family dynamic looks like, but, you know, the baby will either go into state's custody or, you know, I think they have so many people that can be allotted to go through to see in the family, but she may not have anybody. I don't know. Yes, thank you so much, Stephanie. So let's look at this one. I have it pulled up. I was going to maybe do a separate video, but I guess I'm just talking about it now. Mm, it's really crazy. I, I, I hadn't even, I just read the thumbnail and I read a little bit. And it's pretty nutty. Let's see here. Oh, that's a different one. 
Yeah, guys, I don't know what to say about this one. So y'all just hold on and just let's get through it. <laughs> hold on, it didn't share. Let me go back. Not sure why it didn't share it. Oh my goodness, y'all are too good to me. Thank y'all. That's great. Thank y'all so much. Let's see. Yeah, guys, this one, we're just going to have to hold on through it. This one's pretty awful. Let's see. Uh. <sighs> Police. Former teacher placed a girl he had relations with in a bin, wheeled her into the school. Guys, I, I, I don't, what is that? What does that AFC say? Hashtag not my words. Y'all, please go check, uh, what is it, DJ J, DJ Just J, but he has the AFC channel. Y'all, please go check him out. He does incredible work for children, for children's rights, for victims. His whole channel's devoted to kids. So y'all, please go, y'all, please go show him some support. He's got a really good channel. Mm, Riverton, Utah. Let's just, let's just watch this little video. Let's just do that. From cutting edge care to break. Of course, you gotta love the damn ad. Um, yeah, this story is really crazy. I wonder if we can. Probably not. Yeah, we can. Who's in medical technology? Learn how. I meant to do that. I didn't mean to pause the whole thing. <laughs> Let's see. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Two News at 10. A former middle school teacher in Salt Lake County in jail tonight, accused of kidnapping. Police say the man is suspected of having inappropriate relationships with students. Kelly Vaughn is on our top story at the Salt Lake County Jail. And Kelly, how strange these accusations against him are. That's right. So first, a bit about the suspect. Uh, police say that the suspect was a teacher at South Hills Middle School for the last 12 years. Now, the teacher resigned about a week ago, but he's now being charged with kidnapping after so he a young girl inside the school inside a plastic storage bin. Now, and this wasn't the first time that flags were raised by parents about this teacher's behavior. South Hills Middle School in Riverton was supposed to be empty of students because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But police say this man, 38-year-old Lucas Talley snuck a 14-year-old girl into the school on two occasions. He knew that there was supposed to be no kids what? in school, but he was doing so so that he could further an emotional and possibly a sexual relationship with a student. Police reports say Talley put the middle schooler into a large black and yellow storage bin, put it on a dolly, then wheeled the student into his classroom. The documents say that Tally admitted to naming the bin after the young girl and placed a label inside that said, hope your box is comfortable. <laughs> who was a teacher in a position of trust, uh, knew that it was inappropriate and continued it and wanted to continue it uh, to a point where it, it became illegal. Detectives say Tally touched the student inappropriately and they found what? multiple emails, texts and videos where he told the girl he loved and missed her. Wait a minute. Teacher, Wait a minute. Uh, Wait, a question was actually Wait a fucking minute. Wait a minute. Y'all hear this shit. Ron, I'm sorry. In pandemic. But police say this man 38-year-old Lucas Talley snuck a 14-year-old girl into the school on two occasions. He knew that there was supposed to be no kids at school, but he was doing so so that he could further a so emotional and these are why they're out of school. Police reports say Tally put the middle schooler into a large black and yellow storage bin, put it on a dolly, then wheeled the student into his classroom. I, the documents <laughs> say that Tally admitted to naming the bin after the young girl and placed a label inside that said, hope your box is comfortable. Well, somebody who was a teacher in a position of trust uh, knew that it was inappropriate. 14, Maureen. She was 14. To continue it, uh, Two different kids. Point where it, it, became illegal. Detectives say Tally touched the student inappropriately and they found multiple emails, texts, and videos where he told the girl he loved and missed her. I'm the fucking teacher, dumbfounded. Uh, in question was actually using messaging and 
social media to communicate with students and specifically with the, this student. Detectives say that back in June, the victim's mother told Tally to stop communicating with her daughter, which he did not. Detectives say Tally then told them that there are other parents who told him to stop talking to their daughters. Investigators say they've located multiple young girls. Wait a damn minute. Wait a minute. You mean they actually told the man to stop talking to the damn kids? Either one, I'm going straight to the fucking authorities or I'm going straight to these hands. Somebody's catching the smoke. You're not going to be talking in pro. Let me, what the, hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I literally did not realize this was this jacked up. Detectives say Tally then told them that there are other parents who told him to stop talking to their daughters. Investigators say they've located multiple young girls that Tally has talked to about his anxiety, depression, and failing marriage. Oh, my. They say they're now concerned that there are other students who may have been involved inappropriately with the former teacher. If there are other people involved, we Look at this sick box. the Riverton Police Department. Police say they are now actively investigating other cases that the suspect might be tied to. Jordan School District says they wouldn't comment on this case because it is an active police investigation. Mm. Bring life from the Salt Lake County Jail. Kelly Von Fortune News. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. Y'all know what? So much shit is fixing to come out from this dude. How does one go from? I told him to jump, be talking to my daughter. How does several parents say I've asked this man to stop talking? Dude, Jason, right? I'm fucking livid. <laughs> Why wasn't the school contacted? You know what? You know what? I bet the school was fucking contacted. I bet the school was contacted. Or maybe they weren't. I don't know. Well, if they were on virtual. Oh, my God, dude. I would have been at the fucking police department. I don't understand how this man. And let me say this, too. Just in general. And I know other people. Like, to me, to all, by all accounts, they're like normal people. Or they're at least somewhat. Who in the hell talks to 14-year-olds about their 40-year-old, 50-year-old life issues? Who does that? Who, who, who relies on children for therapy? Your failing marriage? Oh, oh, really? Well, I like talking to them because they just listen and they're just so compliant and I'm just so good at grooming. I fucking hate people. How is this allowed to happen to where there's several complaints? Oh, welcome, CC. Oh, my gosh. Blech. Oh, my goodness. And thank y'all. Thank you, everybody, for the donations. Thank you so much. Holy shit, turds, Batman. What is really going on? Let me see. Uh, I have told him with lead. Yeah, exactly. Cement said I would have told him with lead. You damn right. What the hell? I don't understand. How is this? I watched another YouTuber. I think you would have called these type of men betas. I'm just saying, who doesn't protect their family? Who? What man goes up to another grown man and says, hey, could you please just stop being inappropriate with my daughter? Can you please just stop talking to my daughter? I don't know a mom that does that. Oh, my God. That, I know. He says, now I need my vaccine. <laughs> I, oh, my God. Is, I cannot believe what we just watched. He would put these two, I think, what was it? Two girls in the bins. And now there's all kind of girls. He put the little note in there. It's amazing. That's right. That's right, Jason. <laughs> oh, man. I've been on a Jesse Lee Plant, uh, Peterson kick. He ain't for everybody. But he makes a lot of sense if you can get past the stuff. But so how in the world did you get to? He wrote to hope your little box is OK. Y'all know this is some stalker type of kidnapping shit like people build boxes and keep people as slaves this is some type of slave shit like he if he would have had an opportunity i feel like he would have elevated and and i think i've seen this on this episode of uh, criminal minds or something i'm pretty sure of it this is some crazy shit do you know if that school is a regular one or lds Oh, no, no offense, LDS. But yeah, I, I know I didn't take offense. That I'm not I'm not LDS, but I do know what you're saying. And I do know some much like a lot of other religions. A lot of shit is 
okayed. Oh my God, that's fucking awful. Let me, let me see. Oh, I guess I exited out of it. I was going to see, like it just happened. Yeah, gaslighting and groomed. Absolutely. Oh, God. He looked like a fucking creeper. Oh, my goodness. I just, oh, God. I just pray for these kids, I guess. I don't even know what to say. He grooms so well. He should work at the damn dog spa. I know. <laughs> Shar, you have the best fucking jokes, man. <laughs> when you brought my membership, Cherry, that one, that one cracked me up. All right, Roberta. I think that's all we got up here. We just open topic. Um, my God, that is fucking nuts. What was that guy's name? I don't even have it up. I just seen it. I, I'll see something on Facebook and I'll send it to myself and I'll pull up the article. Oh, my goodness. It's awful. I did. Let's see. I, I have, I was looking at this one. Let me show. I think I'm going to do, let's see. Tracy says, I taught my girls self-defense early um, and was very frank when talking to them about weirdos and say, no, absolutely. Not the dog, <laughs> not the dog spa cement set. <laughs> oh my God. No, I agree. I think you had to, same thing with uh, if somebody touches your kids inappropriately, you tell them, you know, no. You got to be dead on. They got to know. It ain't no way around it. You know, you got to explain to them about that. Like you got to explain them about changing a tire. This, this, this has got to happen. This is the only way you're going to do it. This is like, you got to be aware of your surroundings, all that stuff. My God. I'm thinking if some grown a teacher would have come to me at 14 years old and was just start talking to me about, I don't know, man. It just lets you know what, what something's lacking, you know, <sighs> God, that's awful. You know, if time permits, drop the link. Oh, yeah, no worries. Hold on a second. Let me show y'all this real quick. Yeah, no worries, Jason. Yeah, we ain't, I ain't got nothing else to do. We talked about the topics. I've been looking at this one. Are y'all familiar with this case? I was looking at it. Mm, if it will get some screen. Hold on. Let me go back. All right. I was looking at this. I didn't, I don't guess I heard about it when it happened. <coughs> Let's see. Hmm. It's about this doctor, Dr. Michelle Boudre, uh, Boudre, Boudre Deegan uh, shot her seven-year-old twin daughters before she turned the gun on herself. Are y'all familiar with this one? I was looking at it today. I'm not familiar with it, but that's what I was, I was thinking about doing a little something on that one. Mm, I think it, I don't know. I'm just in awe of how. What's that? What does it say? Hey girl, what's going on today? Just sneaking in a little bit of your life. Supposed to be working with heavy, but I'm hiding in for a minute. <laughs> Construction time. Welcome, JP. That is great. That's great. For a second, I thought it said you was working with my hubby. I was like, who in that? Who is this? Oh my goodness. That's great. No worries. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for stopping in there, JP. Mm. Yeah, construction is hard. I don't blame you. I'd have to. Uh, that's what I do when I go help. I just stand around and look at shit. And I tell my son, will not you go do this? will not you do, <laughs> do this? That's how I help. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. I'm about to drop that link, Jason. Oh my goodness. That was funny. Uh, copied. Let's see. I would like to kick them where the sun don't shine at 14. Four older brothers taught me how to fight. Yes. Let's see. Do you watch C? What did that say? Uh, do I watch C Cap or other channels of on here? I don't know. T Cap? I don't know, honey. I don't. It doesn't sound familiar right off top. It doesn't sound familiar. I watch all kind of shit. I literally watch shit y'all wouldn't even fucking believe, or stuff y'all wouldn't even believe. Oh my god! I got an ugly comment about my cussing. Oh my God. Beaver is a delegator. I try. Oh my goodness. What is TCAP? To TCAP that I'm familiar with is Tennessee school testing. That's what we call TCAP here. 
um, is some kind of school testing. Other than that, I have literally no idea what it is. To catch a predator? No, no, yeah, I've watched To Catch a Predator. Yeah, I've totally watched that. Hey, but the guy that runs that, he's a little, he's got some stuff going on too. What's his name, Chris Hansen? Let's see. His cellmate is going to be the toothless guy from Deliverance Movie. <laughs> Squeal like a pig, boy. Oh, my God. What was that movie we watched the other day that I hadn't seen? <gasps> Holy shit. What was it? Full Metal Jacket? No. Platoon. Oh, my God. That was a scary one. Hey, what's another one that we watched? Um, Crap. Queen Beaver ain't a damn worthy be. She's a supervisor. <laughs> I kind of am. Like, I'd be like, here, go here, go here. Funny thing, I did. I used to manage shit for a long time. Uh, his dad is out throat cancer in his second last statement, six weeks Christian. Oh, wow. Yeah, you should probably get your ass back to work then, JP. <laughs> I'm teasing. God, that's awful. That's awful. We're, we're definitely keeping him in our prayers. Uh, yeah, I was told by his brother to just punch an attacker straight in the throat. They can't talk back. They get choked. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You shin them. You, there's a, there is a certain way. I, I'm pretty sure you could bust somebody's damn throat all the hell if you hit them just right. Uh, Chris Hans and Mr. Take a Seat Guy. <laughs> What's that? Anom Unin Unison. What is that YouTuber's name that's like a crazy predator? <coughs> Unison, Un Unanison, I don't know, but that Chris Hansen guy, he kind of looks like uh, Sean Dawson a little bit, Shane Dawson a little bit. Damn, I can't talk. You know something else I was learning about today? What's this guy's name? Amos Yee? But he was a YouTuber. Apparently, he was in Singapore, and then he come over here to the United States, and he was, like, standing up for, like, pedo rights and all this other stuff. And guess what? Now he's in jail for CP. Don't you love these? You, you, I can't say the name. Lou, I don't know. I'm not gifted. I don't. Unanison, Unison, Unison. Is that it? I don't know. He's he's not important. He's awful. He's an awful human being. But um, yeah. Hit the link. Join the stream. Y'all, all voices matter. Yeah. No shit. I did. I dropped it. I dropped it, Jason. Uh, y'all hit the link. Or hit the like. Join the live stream. Voices matter. That's right. Hit something. I can't fucking read. Amo, what did that say, Lou? Yes, I know. I've been, but he just got arrested for having a uh, uh, CP in his possession. That's what I was gonna say. Don't you just love these people? And they're like, oh, it's okay, and you know, love is love, and oh, but it's not for me. No, my preference isn't that. Even though I'm fighting for everybody else to believe in this shit. And then, bam, here you go. Now you got CP charges. Oh, you wasn't attracted to little kids, though, was you? Mm, okay, sure you wasn't. Sure you wasn't. God, sickos. I mean, these people are crazy. And well, my husband's supervisor, because his dad usually is like, he's out right now doing, yeah, taking your dad's position. I'm pretty sure you're supervisor. Yeah, that's rough. Cancer's awful. Every time I just see the word cancer, I'm like, it just makes me, bleh, bleh. I hate cancer, hate cancer. You know, it's, it's crazy. I've said it a thousand times. Cancer's awful, but, but the cancer treatments are worse. You know, they're worse. I'm here listening and pushing comments through just a little busy. No worries, Roberta. No worries at all. No worries. Let me see. Yeah, he's been telling my husband they caught it early and it comes out, come to find out a GoFundMe from his stepsister made it actually stage four. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. God, JP, that's awful. Love is love. I love tacos and cheesecakes. <laughs> Fuck the rest. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, uh, Boy on Count Dracula's channel. He did a debate with Amos Yee a couple years ago. You should see it. I love my. I don't know if I saw that. I saw him. I saw him going back with Blair White, and I did see he did the Fallen State with Jesse Lee Peterson. Um, and that was crazy. He was like, "What? You think what?" <laughs> I 
But yeah, and I just, in general, but he just got like arrested last month. I didn't see anybody hardly talking about it. I didn't have treatments with mom, really. Yeah, my dad, he had stage four cancer in like four different places in 2015. He did the treatments. He was getting better. Tumors going down. He's getting better. He's feeling better. Dies of a fucking heart attack. Never had a day of heart problems in his entire life. All the radiation. Now, all of a sudden, then he dies of a heart attack. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. It's all bad. It's definitely, it's all bad. It's all bad. Yes, yeah, awful. So, I've been thinking... So probably on Fridays, we're going to, it's going to be like good news Friday. And I think we're going to talk about family topics. We'll probably maybe cover one, one or two cases, true crime, whatever's happens to be going on. You know, we'll talk about, you know, that, but I think we're just going to do good news Friday and family Friday. Oh, hold on, Jason. I see devices not connected. Hmm. It says device is not connected, Jason. Mm. Yeah, I love cheesecake, too. I really like tacos, too. I had a chimichanga yesterday. It was pretty good. Shrimp, of course. I don't know, JC. You might have to get back and come back on. It says device is not connected. Mm. Let's see. That would be great. Baby. Yeah, I thought so. I actually got some decent feedback on last Friday. Okay. All right. Let's see. I don't know. Jay. This is your guest. We need to cut on their mic and cam before you can add them. To okay. There you go. I just don't want to interrupt what you were saying. Don't hear about last Friday. Oh, oh, oh. Um. So, yeah, I got good feedback about last Friday when we kind of talk about family issues or whatever. I got good feedback. So I think we're going to do that on Fridays. So, yeah. So, so before I go crazy, has, have there been any updates about the case you gave us about the young man that was found at the bottom of the well? Terrence Anand Anander? No, I haven't heard anything. And I do think they're working on it. Char, I can't wait to share my good news about Terrence. I'll have to wait for legal reasons, but good vibes and prayers, y'all. So that's it. We There is something in the works. And I just haven't, and, you know, really, I had been, I had been talking with his mom a little bit. So, but I figured something was going on. And, you know, and, you know, they tell you, you can say this, you can't say that. But if there's something major in the works, I think that's great. But, yeah, we're definitely still looking out for that case, for sure, for sure. Word. So, uh, I hear a little echo. I don't know what's going on. I'm outside with the dogs. It might be me. I don't know either. I wonder if it's because I got this other one. Is it? Let me see. I'm going to kick that one from the studio because you had two. Is that better? Try now. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Boom. <laughs> okay. So, Perfect. so um, before I get, you know, before I enter my anger, I just want to say, man, you know, we going through a lot as a, as, as this little beef family. And I know times are hard with everybody, but you know, not, you know, I wish I had Sarah McLaughlin singing like in the arms of an angel. Right. I want to say like, if, if you, if you got a dollar 99 a month or four 99 a month or seven 99 a month, yo, let's come together and support something. We spend a lot of time on YouTube supporting drama. And Savage actually bringing us information that that we can take and, and and build on as a community. And it's really, you know, it's cool. Like, I'm telling you, like, I woke up this morning and I was a Beeb gang member. And it was like, you know, I'm only 5'2". I felt taller being a Beeb <laughs> gang member. You know, I, I got all these, like, look, I'm carte blanche now. I'm getting conversations with the Beeb off the YouTube. So I'm just saying, y'all, if... If you got a four ninety nine or a seven ninety nine a month, man, or a dollar ninety nine a month, man, join the bead game. It's love over here. We about to get some t shirts. We coming up with a bead dance. Oh you feel me? So like, we are we are about to do big things. But I tell you what, I was huge. telling somebody earlier, just just coming up, support. You know, just getting on here, talking, giving feedback, just being supportive, man. Support comes in in way so many different ways. You know what I mean? And I I'm grateful to all of it. I'm appreciative to all of it. All Babe, of it. My, my monthly subscription is one taco a month. 
<laughs> that's what my monthly subscription and I love tacos. So I'm sitting there before I join. I'm like, do I love Beeb enough to go without one taco? Yes. So I join. You know what yeah, I mean? I, but, I like but, that but I, thing for but, life. I love that. I love that show. But, but the cool thing is, I want to say, man, like we, we going through things. So I understand, man, like a like. Just hitting a like button is, is is a big deal, man. But we got a cool little community over here. So let's, you know, let's show love to the savage when we can. You know what I mean? And well, I so appreciate y'all. I so appreciate dude, y'all. I don't know why you're with me, man. It's, it's a nice day in Florida. We're a little chilly. It's 65. I'm throwing the ball to my dog. And then you, you broke that story down. Let me light a cigarette real quick. That's yes, true. Awful, that damn man. What do you look like wheeling a damn teenager into the high school or into the school? Dare when the school's out. How who does that? B, we from the south. We say where they do that at. Where they doing that at? Where they doing that? Like now, like, do you understand? Like, I love the info. The, the information you give, but now it's like, Lord, I need more guns now. Like I feel I like I'm Friday. We could just do some like some some good news Friday, some focus Friday, some family Friday instead of fuck shit Friday. I'm sick of fuck shit Friday. I just <laughs> maybe I, we look, can do on a good note. It, it goes back to what you said last week. I'm sitting here now, like I'm praying to all of them, like. To, to whoever the Buddhist is, the Hindus, the Muslims. I'm like, whichever one of y'all, look, please don't spit on me and please don't touch my daughter or her best friend because they in my custody right now. If you yeah. spit on me or run up on one of my kids, I'm going to be on Fox News. I'm going to be on CNN. I'm going to be like, it amazes me. <laughs> you know, I told you I took my vaccine already. So it's like, it amazes me. Like, it's amazing that these kids still, like these predators still be alive. Like, <laughs> Beeb, I was telling my sister today, I said, look, don't worry about it. If you got a problem, I'll take care of it. She's like, but I don't want you to get in trouble. I'm like, it's worse things than being in trouble. I could have to live the rest of my life knowing somebody was a predator. <laughs> like you're not going you are not going to prey on no women in my life. You know what I mean? It's crazy. I, I that um uh Chicago Love she did a really good video on that uh Jaleesha Fink uh Jaleesha Finkley. I tell you what, man. That case is really fucking sad, man. That case is really sad. That girl, but you know what? Oh, I, I told myself I wasn't even going to say nothing. But I was looking through them pictures and everything else, man. What the hell was this girl's family? She seemed like she lived a full life. Like she was in her them. Like she done gone through her 20s or something. Like where in the... Who, how was she getting to do all this shit before she was even 18? Just out on the scene, going all this, doing all that. I mean, yeah. God, ladies... If my you ain't got parents to tell you to be smarter than that, well, just I'm, let me. I'm telling you, fucking be smarter than that. Man, Come, man. You know. and it's not, a, it's not yeah. just ladies, men, especially when you get my age. I'm 41 years old. Be careful who you have around you. There right. are energy. There are, you can let people into your life that's got negative <laughs> energy. There's yeah. nothing wrong. Listen to the men listening to me right now. It's nothing wrong with being 41 years old taking care of your dogs and cat and raising your children and not wanting to be in a relationship. When yeah. the big guy chooses for the love of your life to enter your life, it's going to happen. Don't go out there looking for nothing. Just, just, just sit at the house. No, don't leave the house. No, don't leave the house. Don't leave the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'll be at the house. Look, when, mm. when Tracy said that about her dogs, I was sitting here watching the Golden Girls. I had to pause the Golden Girls. She done made my whole thing savage i'm in here crying like lord please let the dog make it like yo like stay at your house man like yeah. if, if, if enough of us sign up for membership savage will go live all the time we won't have to go nowhere <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, oh my yeah. god i'm trying to do like diff i don't know i've been thinking of different things so like i don't know i i don't I, i've been getting green lights on stuff that's how i know you know it's supposed to be happening or whatever but I don't know. I, I just really kind of want to focus on cases that don't just get attention. I think that that's so important. And I'm trying to, I don't know, man, just trying to. Just, See, what yeah. you did that was beautiful was you, know, you, brought, you brought 
I wasn't even on um Brianna Johnson, but mm-hmm. you had this thing in your membership. Like I don't know if I don't know if you remember or whatever. You it, when I joined, it, a post came up where the story was broken down by another content creator really? about how she yeah like i don't know if it was yours but it like your name came up and said members only and then it was like i i didn't realize how like what ended up happening to her like how she ended up in the trunk and all of this and it's like i i actually which i don't want to talk about here because i don't believe in I i don't know the way that it was handled if it was right necessarily i'm not gonna speak that way but you know there are you know, there's always a beginning and there's always an end. And I just, I think, yes, yes, for her, she should have been, you know, obviously she didn't know who she was messing with, you know, but I, I watched another content creator, which I actually, I like, I don't agree with everything he says. He's fucking hilarious. So he's, and he's been doing this shit for 10 years, but, um, we, they do need to, people do need to be careful. Everybody needs to be careful, but you know, uh, it ain't always about attention. It ain't always about this. You may think you're out there looking cute and killing it, but really you're about to be killed. I don't, I mean, it's, we just have to be mindful. People in general, women in general, girls in general. But um, yeah, and there, I don't know. I don't agree. A lot of people are pretty outraged about this Brianna Johnson stuff, but there's a lot of people that say, you know, she was out there, she was out there like that nothing warrants death nothing warrants your life ending in the back of somebody's fucking car nothing you know but i i don't know man i'm glad that i'm not out there in the world and in the dating scene and in the even in the workforce right now like I, i'm telling you people in general are fucking crazy right now they're just crazy right now i, I don't know there's no shortage of psycho lately <laughs> you i was telling i was telling i was telling the homie i'm like i used to go to walmart with my old lady, you know what I'm saying? We, where I'm from, we call our old lady like our mom, right? Like that's yeah. our OG. So my godmother, she like 84, right? Uh-huh. So check the thing, you know, um, I'll send you pictures of me, but how I sound, how I look, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a country, I'm a country black dude. So I'm with a Eastern European woman because she don't identify as like, you know, Anglo or whatever. So right. we in Walmart, so everybody watching us, but we really watching them. But the temperature in Walmart is so different now. Like d- when you leave your house, do you see the energy shifted? Like it's like a negative energy out there. And I'm telling everybody around me, like, if you don't have to go anywhere, don't go. <laughs> like there are people right. in Florida. There are people I saw an argument happen behind mask. I've seen like, yo, and it's like, why is my family going to Walmart like we cold black? psyops mm-hmm. like i'm like pops you stay in the car keep the car running i got <laughs> i got something on me we got the assault rifle in the back hey babe you stay in the back just in case you need to grab this everything on the list is all we buying we in and out of walmart in 13 minutes flat like it's mm-hmm. crazy because it's people crazy. Are we drove through the walmart yesterday and we was like man it's pretty dunked in here do we even really need shit from walmart i don't think we do <laughs> Do you remember Walmart used to be like, it used to be country black and country white folks and everybody had on the pants they woke up in. Everybody had on like pajamas, but it was all love. <laughs> like, yeah, it was all love. I've seen the Walmart like, videos. Now it's like, where your mask at? Yeah. I don't know where no mask. Like, says 2020 was like attending your own funeral. That, that's a, that's a, that statement packs a punch. Hey, B, you need to holler at Cement Shoes behind the scenes. See if you can get him to allow you to make that T-shirt. And that's how we're going to get rich. That's a T-shirt, right? 2020 is like attending your own funeral. That's Dude, a let me T-shirt. Down right now for somebody else Ooh. steals my idea. Right. I mean, your our idea, Cement, we just had to split it three ways. There's no way around this. No, nah, I can't I, take nothing on it. That's you and Cement. You know what I mean? I didn't mean. I just thought, man, that was powerful. That packed a punch. I wasn't thinking about merch. I need to flip my way of thinking. I did think about doing a cookbook. Like everybody send me these recipes, and then we could put it in a calendar form, and Ooh. each one is a different recipe. I did think about that. Because to me, the whole goal as a community is to get you to do this full time. That's our whole goal. Everyone mm. in this chat. 
would agree unanimously that we want you full time. Like I was thinking, I was talking to hubby earlier and I told him I was like, I need to do I need to have a set schedule where this is a lot of to this, this is a lot of this, this is a lot of this, because I still got two homeschooling, I still got shit here, family. But man, it's fucking doable. And I'm telling you, I've been getting green lights on things. I'm in tune with my higher power with God. No, I don't have a, it's God. I'm in tune with him. And I've been and I've still been doing some little inside, you know, personal stuff, try to, you know, evolve. I believe in constantly evolving always till I die. So um yeah, I'm really I'm really looking into a lot of different options and shit. And yeah, absolutely. That is the ultimate goal, you know. But recognize that, like, you are blessed with something that a lot of us don't have. Like, you know, I call in and y'all like, hey, Jason, man, I just be randomly talking. I'm like 90 years old in my head. Like, I eat eat dinner at four o'clock. I wake up at five in the morning. My best friend is 75. Like, I, you know, I'm not with the young stuff. But your vulnerability and what you bring to the table. I'm in your chat. And I know as a content provider, a lot of times it's hard for you to see everything that goes through your chat. You are, you are not only a wrong people. You are value. And it's like, I feel like everyone right now that's in your community, it's almost as if you're at the ground floor of like Microsoft or Apple. Like this community is gonna blow up. So no, the I, fact that believe we, that too. I believe that too. The fact I, that we're the- here now. Yeah, I know that everyone that hears you and hears me right now knows that like we're going to be huge as a community. You know what I mean? I agree. I totally agree. I just call in. Look, I love your movement. I just call in to stretch out your live like 10 more minutes. I ain't really had nothing to say, but prayers (laughs) (laughs) prayers to um, ah, man. Was it Maureen? I think it was Maureen who's having an issue with a pup right now. Prayers to her. Shout oh. out to Tracy. Prissy is the dopest name I ever heard. Boy, she, dog, she, she was traveling. I seen her earlier. I think she might be in the chat. And yeah. uh, Toxic, her uh, daughter's in the hospital right now. So, yeah, absolutely. Cement yeah. also says, we have to have you on the shirt idea, Jason. You're you're in the Cool Kids Club, he says, so we have to have you on the shirt idea. So, Cement, uh, I've never been cool, bro. Cement, you know what I was? If you ever watched the movie Napoleon Dynamite, I'm the black Pedro. I just had cool cousins. Like I never <laughs> nobody just ever bothered me. <laughs> <with my cousins. laughs> hey, savage, I shaved my hair because my head got hot. That's me. You know? <laughs> Man, that is the greatest movie ever. Oh, Tracy. And anybody else who wanna know, Tracy was asking about Facebook and I have a regular Facebook page and I have a like send me a friend request, but it's it's both leave it to Beaver. One is leave it, the other one is to Beaver. I had to do it like a uh, actual name, but I have a page. So and Tracy, I didn't answer you the other day, so and I thought about that, but yeah, I think I am going to wrap it up before too long. I started early because I have shit to do today. All right. But uh, I'm going to step down. Like I say, it's always love, Savage. Every since I it's saw always you, love having you up here, Jason. Ever since I saw you in mail chat, I'm like, that's the homie right there. You no, know what no, I mean? No, Mel's fucking fabulous. And I'll tell you what, mm. he is him and 411 now are above and beyond supportive of the content creators, Chicago Love, uh 54 uh I 54 Keys. I always want to say eyes because her logo is the eyes. But uh yeah. great, great, great channels. I always showed a lot of love towards me, you know, supporting the content uh leaku.com. Same. She's been showing me a lot of love too. So I'm just yeah. I'm just super grateful for everybody. And, you know, I just love y'all. And and, and last thing, man, listen, as, as tumultuous as our lives are right now, what gets me through are moments like this. Just just being able to chat with people like, man, you know, the moment that I came in your chat, Savage, Roberta sent me a text and I'm like, man, that woman loved me and don't even know me. You know what I mean? Like, it's oh, you, you, you got right. so much good energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, so Roberta's been real good to me. I'm going to step down, you know, um, one day when, when we are rich, I think we should do $2 Mondays, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we're going to try to figure that out. And um, peace and blessings. Man. It's always love, Savage. Yes. Thank you so much for popping up. Always a joy to have you, Jason. All right. Cheers. Oh, tell me one more time in your son's voice what he said the other day that made my heart smile. What did he say? 
I so appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. I'm out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Man, I love my little dude. Oh, he makes my heart smile, my little baby. Y'all make my heart smile, too. I love my Christina. Let's see. Yes, thanks again, Jason. Let's see. Cheryl, hey, baby. I know I got started early today. Uh, chat school because everyone is being real. No funny drama. No, I fucking agree. I totally agree. And some people don't like it. And I get hate comments and emails. And I don't care. I'm trying. It's a new channel. And like, man, it just is. It just is. You don't like it. Move around. There's what? A, th uh, a billion YouTube channels or whatever. Ah, oh, thank you, Jason. Man, thank y'all so much. Show me the love. I like that $2 challenge that Stephanie started. I'm going to go do that on somebody's channel. I'm going to go start a challenge on somebody's channel. But yeah, I think it's important. And I think things flow once everybody's thriving and getting along. And, you know, nobody's got hurt feelings over nothing. And, you know, I just, you know, I just love y'all. And um, so I guess Wednesday, I'm going to try to start putting out more little odd and little videos. Um, so. What was I going to say? But yeah, Fridays, we're going to focus more on good news and family. So I'm thinking, because I think that's important, important too. And we talk a lot about kids. And I, to me, the family dynamic is important. I, I'm not saying what it looks like, you know, have your own family, however you feel like it needs to look. But I do feel like family is first outside of God. I, I, you know, you, you got to maintain your own stuff. So anyways, all right, guys, I'm going to be hopping off of here. Thank y'all. It's been a good stream, and I will see y'all Wednesday. Thank you. <gasps> Barb Brown. Oh, thank you. Y'all are being so kind to me today. Welcome to the stream, Barb. Oh, I'm going to cry. Y'all being so sweet to me. Mm. Y'all make me don't want to get off the line now. You ran late. It's okay. Oh, I know. Sweet. Y'all are being so sweet to me. Y'all y'all gonna have a great week because y'all are starting it off great. Happy <laughs> we appreciate all you do. Love you so much. I love you so much too. I love all y'all so much. Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. All right, guys. Um I still at some point do want to start doing one night where I stream. I'm still working on that. I'm a little stunt, just paid over through that. Girl, Maureen, no, please don't. If you can't. Oh, uh, Stephanie, what? Thank you. Was that the same? Oh, that is a different one. Oh, y'all are being so sweet. <laughs> y'all making me want to cry. Y'all are being so sweet. No, thank you, Maureen. No worries. It's not. This is this is just people doing God's work. Thank y'all so much. I so appreciate it. Oh, y'all are being so sweet. Um, what was I? I totally forgot. I was gonna say, yeah, no, man, y'all just coming in, being supportive, not being tools. That's 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 the kind of support I need. <laughs> oh, also, um, uh, what was I gonna say? If y'all have topics on Fridays, you know, tell me on Wednesday. So, like for this Wednesday, y'all be thinking about what y'all want to talk about on Friday. You know, uh, just questions or topics. You know, to dealing with the family or kids or parenting, you know, stuff like that. So y'all be thinking so that way, you know, we'll we'll do that topic on Friday. Love and hugs, to everyone. See everybody Wednesday. Take care. Great evening. Yes. Thank everybody so much. And thank y'all so much for the donations. It truly means a lot. And it goes right back into the channel. So y'all have a good one. And I will see y'all Wednesday.